hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing well today i'm going to be reviewing slash demoing the bh cosmetics um collaboration with uh, it's my Ray. so uh this palette, this palette came out mm, i don't remember exactly when it came out and i got it and i just forgot to film with it but i'm filming with it now so very late than ever, right? I already did my brows and yeah, so they do not look good because I need to go get them waxed, but it is what it is. I'm just about to prime my eyelids with the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and Original. I'll let that dry for a little while. All right, so here's the palette. It comes in this little slip, slip right here. I got mine from Ulta um, and it's $17.50 on, 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 at Ulta and on BH Cosmetics website. So it just looks like this. And it's, yeah, so when you open it up, it looks like this. Really gorgeous, ugh. Why do I always do that? This really gorgeous. It has something, it's definitely a spring palette. Um, it has something for pretty much everyone in every outlook, pretty much. Um, it doesn't have a matte black, but that's fine. You get matte blacks in all types of different palettes, but it's really pretty. Um, I'm wearing yellow today, so I kind of want to be like on this spectrum. I do like how the colors are like, um, what's it called? Like organized, like you have the wine colors here, then the purples, the blues, and the teals, and the yellow. Like I like that. That's really cool. I'm going to set my lids with some powder. I'm going to use the Maybelline Fit Me Powder um, in the color Deep. <laughs> Don't want to go too high up with that setting powder though, because if you do, it's gonna create a cast. So when you take like a picture with flash, you can you can see it. So I'm just gonna go in and like dust off the excess. So I'm gonna go in first with this blending brush by BH, Co BH Cosmetics. It just says BH Cosmetics on it. Doesn't tell what kind of brush it is. It's this really big, really big blending brush, and I'm gonna take okay, Canary. Is this yellow? Hmm. Zoom y'all in just a little bit. Uh -uh. All right, so now I'm gonna take, what is it, C cacao, which is this like really dark brown color here. And I'm gonna take like a more dense pencil and apply that into my my uh the corner of my eye i'm just gonna apply that cacao color in the like in a v shape in the crease and i'm just gonna kind of leave it i'm gonna blend it out a little bit but for the most part i'm just gonna kind of leave it because um i'm just gonna come back and blend it out a little later i'm gonna go back in with canopy wait canary <laughs> canary it's canary i said canopy and put her back in here and blend her out I just don't want to lose sight of the yellow like that's my main goal right now so I'm gonna go back in with this brush and blend out the brown I'm gonna go back with this brush and apply canary one more time because we want her to be very vibrant up in here All right, guys, so I recorded my phone, and um, I thought that it was filming this entire time, but it apparently it stopped when I was blending out the yellow on top of my crease, so I'm going to try not to be pissed about it and just do this eye on camera, because what I was what had initially planned to do, what I was doing is doing this eye on camera, then going to come off camera to finish this eye, but it didn't work out like that because I reached... I reached up to get my phone and it was not recording the entire time. So now I'm fixing to try to, I'm fixing to have to show you guys what I did on this eye because I, I don't know. Anyways, so yeah, and I forgot to say this in the beginning. I'm all over the place because my filming equipment is to be honest, it's kind of pissing me off. But um, 
If you haven't subscribed to my channel, you've made it this far. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> subscribe to your girl's channel. I promise you're going to love my content. All right? I promise. And if you don't, then you don't have to subscribe, I guess. But subscribe to my channel so you can see future uploads from me. All right. So... Um, I'm using cacao, which is that dark brown shade in my crease. And then I just spray my brush with the NYX Primer Spray. And I'm going to go in with shining, 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 shining. And I'm going to place that on my lid. And I'm going to overlap it with cacao in the yellow color. Just overlap it so that when it's time to blend it out, I can just blend it out real nice and pretty. And I'm going to bring this all the way up into my crease like all the way up until the front. Yeah. All right. So now I'm going to take this brush, which is <clears throat> from BH Cosmetics again, and basically just blend out the yellow with shining. All right. So now what you don't want to do is blend the shimmer shade up. Because it's going to be blend, blending it up into your brow bone. You're going to blend the yellow down. And so how to do this is I just hold the pencil at this angle and just blend down into the yellow. I mean blend down into the shimmer shade. And that's so because I have made the mistake of blending my shimmer shade up versus blending my transitional shade down. And I paid for it. I paid for it definitely because it, it looked a mess. So... <laughs> So you just want to do this, and this just helps you to blend. This is what I do. I ain't going to say you got to do this. This is what I do. All right, and then just blend cacao in with that shade. And you don't really need a lot on your brush. You just need a little bit to blend. So now I'm going to go in with this other brush and spray it with some NYX Primer Spray as well. And then I'm going to go in with Golden, Golden Girl, which is this yellow. It's yellow shimmer shade right here. And I'm going to apply her in the beginning of my lid right here. And so apply her on top of gold of shining. And overlap the two. Like that. Like so. <clears throat> And then I'm just gonna go back in with shining a little bit and put her back there because she kind of disappeared when I start blending stuff on top of her. And so basically at this point, once you get all your colors on your lid and uh, all your colors on your eye and then you get them to look and how you want them to look, basically what you're just gonna do is go in and just make sure everything is blended. So what I'm gonna do now is basically go in and make sure that Golden Girl and Shining are blended together well and then make sure that Cacao and <clears throat> canopy are blended within the shimmer shades. So it's like at the end, when you have all your colors on your lid, you just wanna go back and make sure that nothing is unblended because that's gonna make your eyeshadow look, that's how your eyeshadow look is gonna be, you know, made by blending. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Another mistake you don't want to make is applying too much of one shade on this eye and not on the other eye because you want it to balance itself out. So I'm just going to keep going back and forth to make them the same and then just blend. I suck at wing liner. I suck. But I bought some new wing liner from NYX. This is the NYX Professional Makeup Epic Ink Liner. And it's waterproof or so it says. So, and this is in the color black. So I'm going to be using this... Um, to try to do some liner um i don't do wing liner usually because i'm not good at it this is what the tip looks like so it's really pointed yeah so oh it's pigmented though so i'm really not good at eyeliner <laughs> and i don't need y'all to come for me <laughs> my stuff don't look as good as you know it probably should i don't even know if i'll do do some on camera but i was gonna do it yesterday but i forgot so I was like, I'm going to do something today. But I'm really not good at this, so don't come for me, okay? <laughs> okay, so that does not look good to me. 
but um in order to not mess up my eye makeup i'm gonna leave it um i mean it's not bad it's up a little bit right here i don't know i'm just gonna do the same thing or at least try to do the same thing on the other side okay uh <laughs> oh don't know about this okay all right so i don't feel like it looks bad um I don't think it looks bad. I think it looks good for me to be horrible at it. But yeah, so there's my wing liner experience. Um, so I'm about to put some some lashes on. I got some new lashes recently, but I can't seem to stay away from the ones that I always use. I don't know. I, I'm just basic like that. Favorite. So I'm gonna use the Kiss Number 11 lashes. I have a video on how to apply lashes on my channel if you don't know how to. So I'm not gonna film this part. <laughs> this look is fire. So I'm gonna take a baby wipe and like wipe the excess makeup out of one of my eyes. I'm going with the Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. Yes, it does come in a bigger one than this, but I got the trial size because it's fifty. Not the trial size, but the mini size, which I guess is the same thing as the trial size. I'm gonna use my um, where is my concealer? Where is the concealer that I want to use? So I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop concealer in the shade deep dark wait yeah deep dark 50 and i i'm gonna use this to color correct now i use i could you could use an orange corrector but i'm gonna use this um because it has an orange base to it it's it's like close to my skin complexion but it has an orange base to it so i'm gonna use this to color correct my dark marks and i have a lot of like really like my skin is like a little darker in certain areas like it's not just a mark it's like a in an entire area so i'm just gonna kind of like put it in that in that area and then you know and i don't really conceal under my eyes because i just don't like a cakey like a cakey look to my skin and i found that when i conceal um like when i conceal uh, like color correct all like under my eyes where I have like a little darkness around my mouth and all that I tend to look a little cakey and I don't like that so I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna use this color correct the the concealer in as less areas as possible so that I won't get like a really cakey look and then this is a real techniques beauty sponge it came in a pack with uh, a pink one and this is really really good for color correcting like i haven't put it down since i got it and so yeah i found it at marshall's i want to say it was like one sale or something all right so for foundation so i recently bought this nyx uh can't stop won't stop foundation and in the color mocha and i think this is my shade i'm in this shade in the the drop foundation so hopefully this is my shade like it i'm gonna use this flat top brush i don't know i got this from like amazon or something yeah it looks like my shade i don't know if this foundation is supposed to be full color tonight but i'm gonna go ahead and blend it out before it dries on my face it looks oh it is a bit dark it's a bit dark so i'm going to go in with um i'm just going to lighten it up with some concealer so I'm going to go in with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge and just buff that in, make it look a little bit more skin-like. Um, if you follow my channel, you know I do this to make my foundation look not so cakey, like make my base look not so cakey. All right, so I'm going to use the matching uh, concealer. This is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer in the color Warm Honey. So I'm kind of going to apply a lot of this to lighten up this foundation. This is my favorite brush to blend out my concealer with now. At first it was my beauty sponge, but now I love to blend this concealer out with um, this brush. It's, I think it's like a foundation brush, but hey, there's no rules to make up, so you do what works for you. <laughs> to set my concealer, I'm going to use the Laura Mercy A. All 
right, so now I'm going to take my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzer in the color Mahogany. And I love this. I love this stuff. I'm going to take my Eco Tools face buff, whatever type of brush this is, and just wipe away this XX powder. So I'm going to take my Maybelline press powder in the color 355 Coconut. I'm just going to use this to like lightly set my face and kind of like blend everything together. Got a little of this powder in my laugh lines because your girl's laugh lines crease. So now I'm going to go on my blush. I'm going to go in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills blush, uh, blush trio in the color Berry Adore. And I'm just going to go through all three of them. Dust it off. I'm gonna set my face now I recently got I went to Ulta yesterday and I recently got this NYX bear with me prime set refresh spray and it's only 10 up 10 bucks so I got it let's see how it comes out mm. I don't know about the mix but okay okay I definitely do not like the mist Ugh, it comes out like a water hose, man. Like, I feel like I'm just throwing water on my face. I don't really like how that... I probably should have missed it to see how it came out before I bought it. The end. I'm going to use Flexitarian by ColourPop. It just, like, really brings my eyes out. You don't want to apply too much because you're going to be looking crazy if you do. I'm going to be using the Blushing and Ballet Palette from BH Cosmetics. And we're going to use i'm going to use these last two shades here and mix them together next thing i'm going to do is spray my face to set it i'm going to be using this morphe continuous mist spray now i'm going to apply my sephora eyeliner i didn't want it to get smeared i didn't want it to get smeared so now i'm going to apply that I'm going to highlight my brow bone with my highlighter color. And I'm going to use the darker one, which is in the color Ember. And I'm going to go over that lip liner with the BFF4. All right, so I'm just going to use the Fancy Beauty Gloss Balm. I tried to use something different for once in my life, but... Hmm. Anyways, yeah, so it's universal, so... It matches literally any eye look I do. And a lot of my lip stuff did not match this yellow look that I did today. So we had to use this. Sorry. Alrighty. So here is the finished look. Mm. Mm. <laughs> I love this yellow top, y'all. I got it from Ross. It was only like $6. But anyways, yeah. So I just had Fenty Gloss Balm on my lips. And BFF 3 liner and BFF 4 liner on my lips as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and make sure that you comment below and you know let me know something. I love this eye look. Oh my gosh. But yeah, so subscribe to my channel and comment below and let me know something. Make sure you tap that bell so that you get notified every time I post a new upload. And yeah, so I guess I'll see you in my next video.